DC motor speed control. We use DC motors in many systems, in our day-to-day -day life. For example, CPU fans, fume extinguishers, toy cars etc. are all DC motors, which are operated by DC power supply. Most of the times, we will have to adjust the speed of a motors, as per our requirement. A CPU fan for example, must be operated at high speed, when the CPU is performing heavy tasks, like games or video editing. But for normal usage, like editing documents, the speed of the fan can be reduced. Although, some systems have an automatic adjustment, for fan speed, not all systems possess this functionality. So, we will have to adjust the speed of the DC motor, ourselves, to control the speed of a DC motor. One well-known method widely used in industries, is pulse width modulation, or simply called, PWM. In this project, we will learn how speed control of DC motor can be implemented using a triple five timer IC and pulse width modulation technique. These are the components which are needed in this project triple five timer IC, eight pin IC base. 50 kilo ohm variable resistor 3 1 kilo ohm resistor 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor 1 red led 1 npn transistor bc547 dc motor 9 volt battery pp3 battery connector on off rocker switch 1 0 pcb 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers before making the project we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on-off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three different modes, monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in a stable mode. So it will continuously give the high and low signal, at its output pin. We have connected a NPN transistor, BC547 at its output pin, it will on, and off, with a preset frequency. When we switch on the circuit, then the base terminal of transistor, will get continuous high and low pulses. When transistor will get a high signal, then it will turn on and current will start flowing through the DC motor. When transistor will get a low signal, then it will turn off, and cut the supply of the motor, so DC motor will turn on and off continuously. Higher the on time of motor, higher will be its speed. On time of signal, can be increase or decrease, by changing the value of this variable resistor. This technique is called, PWM, or pulse width modulation. On time of signal, can be calculated by using this formula. These components will be used to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a one inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch, inside the hole. Now we will solder, the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor, will protect the LED, from high voltage and current. Now we will solder, the power indication LED, on the PCB.
Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Connect pin number 8 of IC with 5 volt supply. Now we will solder the variable resistor. It has 3 pins. We will use the middle pin and any one of the two side pins. Now we will solder the 100 microfarad capacitor. Short pin number 6 of IC base with pin number 2. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base with the ground terminal. Short pin number 8 of IC base with pin number 4. Now we will connect the DC motor with our circuit. Connect any one terminal of motor with the ground and another terminal with the emitter of transistor. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now we will plug the triple 5 timer IC on the 8 pin IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.erltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.